Hello everyone, OC here aka Icon7 and today I will show you guys a quick tip on how you can counter being in a situation where the hatch is closed and you need to open one of the gates. Now you're probably wondering why I'm standing near this gate instead of looking for the hatch. Now when I'm the last survivor alive I always like to see if the gates are far away from each other or close to each other. In this case the gates are pretty far away from each other, which is very good for me. Now, if the gates are close to each other, I was just going to look for the hatch because it's a lot easier for the killer to protect two gates. Now, in this case, the gates have a pretty big distance between each other and I'm playing against a killer who doesn't have a high mobility. And that's why I will show you how to counter a killer if the gates are pretty far away from each other and they don't have a high mobility. Now, what I'm about to do here is I will open this gate by 20%. I'm doing this because if the killer is checking the gate, he won't know that I'm actually here. And I will show you another example for this. As you can see right here, this gate is already opened by 20%, but without showing the killer that it's actually 20%. But if you go a little bit further than 20%, it will turn red, which means the killer can see your location and it's a lot easier for the killer to know where you are after he checks the gates. Back to the situation against this booba, I want to make sure how long it takes him to check these two gates. So as you can see right here, I'm waiting very patiently, there is no need to rush, I have more than a minute and a half to open this gate. Now as you can see, he's coming back, now I'm waiting till he comes back to check this gate, to see if I'm around here. He sees nobody, now he's going back to check the other gate. And I'm still not opening this gate, I'm still going to wait before I will open it by 20%. So I will wait how long it takes him. It doesn't take him that long. So he's already coming back. Okay, now he's gone. Now I will open this gate by 20%. There you go. Now he will check this gate one more time. He sees that the gate is not red, which he thinks I'm not here, but I am actually here. I just opened it by 20%. Now the gate is red, but it doesn't really matter because I'm already halfway opening this gate. And because I opened it by 20% the first time, I actually managed to escape this booba by just a little bit and that's how close I was to being dead. <laughs> so yeah. Now if you want to do the 20% tech, you need to stop once your bar reaches the letter A. If it goes over the letter A, the gate will turn red which will show the location to the killer. Back to this booba again, usually it takes 20 seconds to open a gate, but because I did the 20% tech, I was able to open this gate in 15 seconds. Now if I was just 1 or 2 seconds too late, I would have been dead. I know some people may say, why don't you use wake up or spine chill or resilience? So first of all, you don't find yourself every time in situations like these. And second of all, why would you waste 3 perk slots? just for opening the gate when you can literally just do it for free with this trick. So yeah, that's that. I just thought it would be interesting making a tutorial around this because sometimes when I'm playing survivor and I'm spectating the last survivor, they just go and fully open the gate without doing the 20% tag. And yeah, I just thought it would be a good idea to make a tutorial around this. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching and see you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.